five, four, Final three, few seconds. Can Dak Hammer get in? One. I think he's going to get shut out. Bring the bow down. GAC Pindar over the line, opening up this race to the rest of the fleet. Absolutely nip and tuck at the top of the start line. And it looks like this one could be the start for Artemis Racing from that winner position, absolutely nailing the time and distance. Their last start, they were really fighting it out in the center of the action. And now they have turned this final start into a race that could be theirs around the top mark for the first time leading Artemis Racing and the, the Young Youth America's Cup Challenge bringing their bow down. They do actually have to get the spinnaker out though. That's going to slow them down a little bit and Team Flux really pouncing on that. Managing to get inside as does Typhoon X. Essex Racing, they're piling down on the inside. Synchronized sailing from these four boats down towards the bottom mark. We're gonna see them now jibe to get across to the bottom gate. First to turn, Essex Racing, Typhoon X just shadowing them and then Team Flux jibing out in front. This is our one, two, three, four. Mans Homburg in Typhoon X has done an excellent job today. Setting his bike boat fast. But Burnson just holding on to the lead with Flux. Ian Williams has gone the other direction. We can see him coming in at the bottom gate. There he is, bottom of screen, just popping round and rounding the opposite mark. So Flux, Typhoon X off to the right. Williams and Essex racing off to the left. And from first back to last, into fifth place goes Artemis Youth Racing. Now we have traditionally seen the right-hand side of the race course underneath the hospitality area be the favored way. We're just looking there at the two boats heading in this direction, Team Flux and Typhoon X. We're here in Helsinki. This is day one of racing. And there's our leader, Team Flux. In hard and tight to this right-hand side. Typhoon X, the first attack. And Flux really tacking to match. I think up in that winner position, the wind has built all the way through the day. Team just struggling to get up onto that windward rack, but now they're up and going, continuing to lead this match. And to the opposite corner, GAC Pindar and Essex Racing off to the left-hand side. GAC really the form boat of the day, but over the line in the start, now looking to see if they can come back. Essex Racing inside them. So the boat's coming back together. Williams off to the left. With Dan Kammer hot on his heels. I'm not sure whether he can tack. We're looking there at Flux and Typhoon X. Team Flux still with control, I think, of this race on the right-hand side. Aerial shots looking across the race course and there looking for the tack. Williams tacking just across the line of Dak Hammer, just getting it in as Dak Hammer now pops it through the tack as well. Both boats coming out the left hand side. Now can Williams mount a comeback? One boat at a time. He looks like he's going to be close. It's a man's Homburg who tacks in Typhoon X. I assume on the ley line for the top, we'll see.
Team Flux. Coming back across from the right-hand side. Doesn't look to be on ley line. That looks like an extra attack for Johnny Burnson. And Ian Williams ducking his line. I think Team Flux looking for the tack in, but I'll be surprised if he can pull that off. I think that is the wrong strategy. Too many tacks from Burnson, and I think it might have just cost him the lead. Both Mans Homburg and Johnny Burnson have done a lot of tacks in the top section of this race course. They were your one, two, but I wonder, have they just handed that advantage back to GAC Pindar? They have, round they come, Ian Williams goes from fifth to first on the first full beat of this race. And really handed that by Bernson in flux. And Mans Homburg in at Typhoon X. Couple too many tacks, that's what it costs you. It can cost you the lead. And GAC Pindar has proved that they are a force to be reckoned with here on the first day here in Helsinki. And they have reclaimed the lead in this, the seventh race of the day, the final race of day one. Team Flux through a jibe. It looks like they picked up the mark at the top. You can see them dragging it along the green mark, but they've now escaped. I thought they were looking a bit slow, and that was why they had an anchor, a ball and chain, if you will, tied around their left-hand rudder. But that has just popped off. And that perhaps handing an advantage to Essek, who are looking to find a way back into this match. But it's GAC Pindar the whole way, then Typhoon X, and then Essek Racing, and Team Flux. So down to the bottom, around and through the bottom gate, back up to the top, and then the reach to finish, and that will conclude today's racing. Down towards the bottom gate, and there we go. We have a capsize out on the race course. We're going to cut back, but Typhoon X really pushing to try and get back into this match. You can see our man on the back there hanging onto the shroud. Pushing just a little bit too hard. And on that right hand ley line, he has popped it over into the water. Aggressive sailing. You can see them there with the Jenica out. They're just popping up onto the bow there. They'll get that furled away. I'm sure we'll see them right it in a jiffy. We've seen a number of capsizes this year, and we have the writing of these boats down to a fine art. There's our leader, Ian Williams. Just popping through attack up in the top left hand, well, top right hand corner of the racetrack. A bit like watching a Formula One car just skid off into the gravel on a corner and the stewards having to go and push him out. But the drone chasing Ian Williams up the racetrack. A commanding display from GAC Pindar. So into the top for one final time and down onto the run. We are shadowing one of the forces of world match racing from Great Britain, Ian Williams and his team, GAC Pindar, into the top mark. Over the line in this race, left himself with it all to do, but proving a match for the challenge in front of him and finding his way back up into first place. There they go, we can see the boat popping back up. Just the boat towing it into the wind. Applause from the crowd here on the shore. A 
great performance from Mons and his team. So there, the battle for second. Flux Racing and Essex Racing. One coming back from the left and right, respectively. So round the top mark, GAC Pindar in first place, just pointing down towards the finish now. We just heard Typhoon X have got a slight, well, a small amount of damage to the main source, so they're just going to tow in. But really today has been about one team and one man dominating the performance all the way through the races, winning five of the six matches today, I think. We've checked the final scores once they're in. This race, he was behind off the start, had to go back into fifth place, but it didn't matter. He's fought all the way back through to the very front of the fleet. It is Ian Williams, crewed by Brad Farad, Garth Elliman, and Mark Bulkley, who are gonna come through, take the day, take the win in this final race. They're in right on the shore to salute their fans. A high five in right on the shore. To GAC Pindar, on day one, they have come and they have dominated and they have taken a race seven and the day here in Helsinki.